Hi. Football Manager Mobile 24 for Android stores save games and shortlist files in a hidden area that you can't access. And that means AM24 can't access it either. For AM24 to work, you have to export from Football Manager Mobile and import back into Football Manager Mobile, etc. So I'm just going to walk through how that works. Uh, step one, I'm going to go over to Football Manager Mobile. I'm playing a game. I want to look at this in uh, AM24. So step one is to save it. Now this is saving it into the hidden area, so I can't access it through AM24 yet. I have to go back to the main menu, go to load, choose the career. Instead of load, I choose export. Um, and you can see I've done it before, but I can't just click that. I have to actually give it a name. Uh, and it makes more sense if you use exactly the same name every time so that you can uh, refresh in AM24. Um, if you export to the same place with a new file, then you can just refresh in AM24 and it's quicker. Um, let me go and put this in. No, I did something wrong there. Okay. So I've put the name in. Now I can press export. Now it's putting to external storage. And it tells me it's put it in export Newcastle uh, folder. So I can say, okay. I can then get out of here if I want to, etc. If I jump across now to AM24. Oh, before I do, I should just say... Once I finish looking in AM24, if I keep playing for another couple of months in here and I want to look at it again, I have to go through the whole process of exporting the save that we just did right then, every single time you want to look at it in AM24. Okay, over to AM24. Um, this is the very first time um, after I've installed it, so normally it will remember where you were last time, but this is a brand new install. And because it is, I have to give it permissions. This should only ever happen once, the very first time you use it. You then have to tell it where the folder is. Um, so for me, it's in SI Games, Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager Mobile, and Games. And there you can see my export folder. Now for you, you might have chosen a different path. The very first time you export from Football Manager Mobile, it will ask you where to put this. So you need to find that folder again. Anyway, if I choose that, uh, now I can see the saves in that folder. That's the one I just saved. I can open it up and I can use it. Now, the loading a save to look at it is just one way. You export from Football Manager Mobile, then you can look at it. If you want to keep playing, you go back to Football Manager Mobile. If you want to look at it again, you have to save and export it again, etc. So it's a one-way traffic. It's just exporting out. For shortlists, it's the other way around. You're actually creating files to be imported into Football Manager Mobile. So if I come over here and I do a search for, I don't know, let's look for some Wonder Kids. Um, get pretty young get them a high PA range. Sorry, the mouse doesn't work too well with that, so let me use my actual phone. And I just want, let's let's go for strikers. Okay, I've now got a list of 17 strikers. I'm going to make that my short list. It's a very sh small short list, but you can find whoever you want. And when you're ready to export it, you just come up and you go, I'm going to export to short list four. Now it's exporting it, and it's putting it into that temporary area where the export files are that we, we found. So same as there's a games folder where the export Newcastle folder is in, there's another folder called shortlists where this file is going to. That's not actually in Football Manager Mobile yet. You have to import it back in. Okay, so the next step is to jump back over to Football Manager Mobile. I will load up the save again. I'll go to shortlists and as you can see I've got nothing here. So I need to load and save. Now when I choose load shortlist, um, sometimes you'll see them here. I've deleted all mine so it shows as empty. And 
basically you can't see the shortlist because it's not in the area that the game accesses. So you have to import it. So first you choose the slot and you choose import, choose the one you want. Uh, okay, didn't uh, go correctly. This has been a problem that I found. Um, sometimes you don't know which one is which one. Okay, so there are four empty files there and you shortlist there. And you would think that the fourth one is shortlist number four, but it's not. It happened to be the second one. The order is all over the place. You have to try it and um, see what happens. And that didn't even show up. Uh, sometimes you have to actually export a shortlist first and then go back to AM and uh, export from one from there. Uh, and it will over go over the top of the one that's there. It's very messy. Hang on, let me cancel this. Let me go load save again, load shortlist. Okay, so there you go. That was very strange, but it shows you the sort of mess that you're dealing with here. Um, it's all in the way that um, Football Manager Mobile finds the files. It's very, very fussy. They have to be named perfectly. Sometimes you have to export a file with the same name before you can import one that's come out of AM with the same name. It's crazy. So this bit's going to be really hard, and there's not much I can do to help with that, uh, you just have to try and try until you work out a combination where it works. Um, then you get it. It's now imported and I can then load it. And these will be the same players that I just had over in AM24. If I go back over, um, Victor Rocco, Tell. So it's like 17 players. Um, this has got. Uh, almost 17, but if I turn off the interested only, you'll find that it is actually 17. So I have imported it successfully. It's very messy. Um, and I guess you just have to try your, your best to try things. What I found is the very first time you import a shortlist, it's hard. Once you've done it, um, the game seems to find it much more easily. Okay, I'll stop there. Good luck.